Hey friends, I recently passed a written test for my driving education. In this video, I'll share how I went about it. Of course, the amazing tool Anki is involved, so make sure to watch the whole video to see my method in action. About the test, here in Norway, a part of the journey of getting a driver's license uh, in any class, I think, uh, you need to take a written test, right? So uh, the structure is uh, you take a multiple uh, question test where you can only get a maximum number of uh, seven mistakes. So uh, you get 45 questions and you have to get at least 38 of them correct. I took the, la the test last year and uh, failed with 11 mistakes, uh, embarrassing. Um, and this time I, ha I had decided I was gonna pass, right? So first thing I did uh, differently this time was um, I split up the learning uh, into uh, learning first, and then the memorization later. So I use this tool called Theorie Tentamen, uh, which is a SaaS app. You pay around $40 per month. I think you can also pay it for per week, but it basically has tests you can do, and then it has the explanations. And um, basically I could go through the material and uh, get through it in uh, a timely fashion. So I, I set aside a month to get through I don't remember exactly how long it took, but I think it took maybe a few weeks uh, spending 30 minutes every day to get through all of their text. And um, one thing that was really nice with this website is, I'm, I'm not sponsored by them, but like they had um, audio versions of the text so you could get TTS and it wasn't generated, it was actually a human talking. Uh, it was nice, the voice was nice. And they also had an audiobook. I really didn't use the audiobook that much. I listened to maybe one or two chapters, but then stopped using it because it was much faster to just use the computer version where they had like, I think it was 10 chapters. And um, after every chapter, there was a small test and you could basically get an overview of um, what you're struggling with. I did that and then um, while doing that, I was talking to uh, people on Discord, especially Marcel. Um, he recommended this website, really useful, trafficrules.com. Uh, it's an online community for driving license and road safety education. You can take a free practice test and learn about traffic rules and traffic signs. So I was using this as a supplement uh, whenever I wanted to do more tests uh, for especially the traffic signs. So I did a lot of mock tests, right? Uh, and here in this site, I could do mock tests on the actual theory, not just signs. I don't remember. Here it's mostly focused on signs. It's still very useful, but um, mostly sign-based. So you have to memorize a lot of signs. When I was talking on Discord and telling Marcel about the issues I was struggling with, that helped me get a really good overview and understanding of which signs I was really struggling with. And um, I could continue taking more uh, mock tests. And it's basically, you can, I'll add the link in the description in case somebody else wants to use this website. Very useful. You can either get a random test, traffic sign specific, priority rules and so on. Let's pick a random one. So you can see you get uh, a sign and then you have to figure out what it means. What does this traffic sign mean? Uh, let me look at it. I have to uh, zoom. Mm. Uh, okay, guys, I'm being put on the spot now. I have to think. So P, you're 8, 18. This is begin of um, parking zone. That's what I'm guessing. Yes, correct. I was a little bit nervous there. <laughs> that I was going to get it wrong after passing the test. So you get a green flash on the screen. And let me make a mistake now. I know this is uh, a mandatory uh, right, I think, but I'll just pick left. No, wait, it's left. I'll pick right just to get it wrong. Then you get the red. And then uh, after you've done that, right, you're going to get this overview so you can look at the ones. And um, after doing this for a while, you're definitely going to get a really good overview of what you're struggling with. And that's where Anki comes into play, right? I don't remember what the deck was called, but I think I called it something like uh, traffic rules. And uh, so I think I put this uh, straight into Anki. I would just click the add and then I would uh, um, copy the image. Just put that there and uh, I would also copy the text. It's very tedious, but I didn't mind this uh, doing it. Um, and then I would just put it like this. I might change the formatting and then, so I would get all of them into Anki this way. And then I would use Anki to uh, review them. 
And almost all of my flashcards uh, had images. Uh, unfortunately, I can't show you all of them. This is due to copyright, right? There is, uh, I have a bunch of, uh, like I've deleted the deck now because I passed the test and I don't really need it anymore. But I copied a lot of text from this website, screenshots, and then I just put it in my deck and then um, use that as a supplement. So let's look at the test day. So uh, for the test day, let me go into full screen here. This is what I did. Like uh, I had like, after I felt comfortable with my Anker reviews, I decided to schedule um, a test time, uh, but I actually didn't have a valid ID before recently. My passport expired in February and I couldn't renew it due to all of this uh, pandemic stuff. Uh, so I got my passport, um, I think a few weeks back, and then um, I scheduled um, a time to take the test near a traffic uh, station, whatever it's called, the government DMV stuff. And uh, so I came there like, I think it was like really crazy. I came there like maybe 45 minutes before the actual ex uh, test uh, time. So, and uh, because I had test right, like right at the opening time. So one thing I did when I was there was uh, I went to YouTube uh, on my phone and I just searched for um, in Norwegian, that is uh, for the, um, tests basically so i searched um i'm writing this wrong there i searched for this and then i think this one came up so i watched this one here in 2x so i'm not gonna watch the whole thing due to copyright issues but uh so i watched this one and then whenever something came up here i couldn't understand i would just pause read make sure i understood and this question here guys this exact question came up in the test it's crazy like i was watching this youtube video and this exact same question came up and the only reason why i remembered it i did have an anki flash card on it and i did review that card also but just like the, this um, quick review like watching this in 2x right before the test that was really useful and yeah this one too came on uh, where is it you guys can't understand it i know because it's in origin but like they were asking for the tire dimensions summer tire thing and then also how much uh promil i don't know what that is like uh, you when you're influenced by alcohol questions related to that that did show up so this video basically covered like a bunch of questions that just came up in the test so i'm glad i just watched this i think i watched another one uh there was another video i watched like general i don't remember what it's called um there was a video that i watched yeah this one i'm not going to show it um but this video, um, yeah, no, this one, five tips on how to um, to uh, pass the test. I'm so happy I watched this video because like, I don't remember exactly what it encouraged you to do, but uh, during the, the test itself, right? What I did was I made sure to understand every question I, I got there. And when I didn't understand a question, what I did was I would flag a question because the UI, you when you started, uh, you basically got in there after showing ID, paying the fee, and then you got into a room. You're not supposed to talk with anyone, have a face mask on. You couldn't bring your phone or any any loose objects, and um, you sat in front of a computer terminal. And when you you had to enter your social security number, and then when it boots up or it starts, you get a tutorial, one minute tutorial. I watched that two times just to make sure I understood the UI. Unfortunately, the user interface supported flagging. The way we had the same way we have flagging here in Anki, this stuff here in the corner, it also had flagging. So I could comfortably in my pace go through the questions and then whenever I was in doubt, I would just flag a question. So after I answered all the 45 questions, at the end I looked at uh, the overview and I could see like a grid basically a grid of all of the 45 questions and um, I could see the flag and then I would just click through the flag and what I did was I went into the questions again it's basically you have the question and I'm a multiple select so I would review and then I could see oh there's ambiguity in certain places it's not clear what is the right thing whenever I got uh, those I would just look at the picture if there's any picture I would look closely at the picture and then I would look for hints. Is there maybe something that's not obvious or something I missed the first time I looked at it? And if there is, then I would just pick the right answer based on that. But if there was still ambiguity or I couldn't understand, like what's the right thing? There are several things here that seem right. Then I would pick what seemed to be the most common sense thing to pick. Like what if you just 
had to say this is more common sense than this thing, then I would pick the one that was most common sense. And then when I submitted my um, test, I got the answer like instantly. And I was nervous there for like for a moment there. I was thinking, okay, I will, I'm going to have to take, retake the test. I'll wait two weeks. Uh, you can't take it within a two week time frame. You have to wait. They're probably reshuffling the same test. So I got an answer, bam. It says, congratulations, you passed the test. And uh, there was some UI button for details. Uh, so I clicked the details and then uh, they showed me a summary and it said I had two questions wrong and I could look at the questions. I couldn't see the actual answer, the right answer, but I could see this. these two questions were wrong. So that was totally within the limit of the allowed number of mistakes. I was so happy. And yeah, I went out of there smiling. So I think the only reason I passed this time was I didn't abuse Anki for this project. For this project, I decided to use another resource for the learning, right? Where I got the text, the material, and um, I learned uh, the rules, uh, the, I learned the traffic signs, and I only, this is the key here, I only memorized with Anki the stuff that I was struggling with. I didn't put any of the basic, everything I knew, I didn't put into Anki. To be honest, there was no point. I could have used Notion to Anki and put everything into the um, into the deck. I think I had uh, around 180 um, questions, like flashcards. So that was like, it was something like that. I don't remember exactly. But basically what saved me this time was splitting it up, like having a learning phase and reviewing the information. And then only after going through the material, creating flashcards, and then revi like reviewing those. That's it. I think that's how it worked out better this time. Two instead of uh, 30, like uh, no 11 mistakes, which was last time, if I remember correctly. So yeah, I'm happy I passed the test and I hope this uh, video was useful for you. Uh, if you're gonna take the test, um, driving license test uh, theory stuff, good luck. If you recently gotten the driver's license, congratulations. I hope I'm gonna get it too after doing all of the all of the stuff I need to do and uh, more driving to learn to drive. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. And I know most people watching the videos are not subscribed. So if you enjoy the content, please um, hit the subscribe button and like. And if you don't like the video, please do hit the dislike button. Regardless, I appreciate your support. Thank you so much and until next time, happy learning.